وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد إن شاء الله تعالى today I want to cover the verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says وَيَوْمَ يُنْفَقُ فِي الصُّورِ فَفَازِعَ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ إِلَّا مَنْ شَاءَ اللَّهِ وكل أتوه داخرين Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here he says وَيَوْمَ ذَا دَيْ يُنْفَخُ فِي الصُّورِ The word as-sur, it is al-qarnu al-azim, it's a trumpet. It will be blown into by an angel known as Israfil, alayhi salam. He will blow, in, blow into it. So what Allah tabarak wa ta'ala here is saying is وَذْكُرْ Mention and remember يَوْمَ يُنْفَقُ فِي الصُّورِ The day where the trumpet will be blown into. The first blowing, النَّفْقَةُ الْأُولَى The first blowing, so there's two blowings. The first one is, it's called نَفْقَةُ الْفَزَعَ It's when it terrorizes the people, it scares them. And every single person dies from it. And it's سَعْقَ Which is everybody passes away and dies. كُلُّ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ إِلَّا مَنْ شَاءَ اللَّهِ Everyone dies. Those who Allah willed for it. As Allah mentioned in the ayah, وَنُفِخَ فِي الصُّورِ فَصَعِقَ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ إِلَّا مَنْ شَاءَ اللَّهِ ثُمَّ نُفِخَ فِيهِ أُخْرَى فَإِذَا هُمْ قِيَامٌ يَنْظُرُونَ Allah mentions here two. وَنُفِقَ فِي الصُّورِ فَفَصَعِقَ أَمَا فَصَعِقَ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ Allah says وَنُفِقَ فِي الصُّورِ فَصَعِقَ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ Everyone on this earth will pass away and die. مَنْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ إِلَّا مَنْ شَاءَ اللَّهِ Except the one Allah wills. ثُمَّ نُفِقَ فِيهِ أُخْرَى And then the second trumpet will be blown فَإِذَا هُمْ قِيَامٌ يَنْظُرُونَ The people stand up. Also Allah Taala mentions in Surah Al Haqah He says فَإِذَا نُفِقَ فِي الصُّورِ نَفْخَةٌ وَاحِدَةٌ وَحُمِلَتِ الْأَرْضُ وَالْجِبَالُ فَدُكَّتَا دَكَّةً وَاحِدَةٌ Until Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala He says uh, in another place in the Quran in Surah Al-Nazi'at يَوْمَ تَرْجُفُ الرَّاجِفَةِ تَتْبَعُهَا الرَّادِفَةِ رَاجِفَةِ is a nafkhatu al-ula which is a nafkhatu al-faza' wal-sa'iq I already mentioned that الرادفنا is النفخة الثانية the second trumpet which is known as نفخة البعث والنشور وخروج الناس من قبورهم لموقف الحساب is when the second trumpet is blown the people are resurrected again they come out of their graves and they all go to the place of standing يعني the موقف the, they're going to stand in front of Allah تبارك وتعالى for interrogation the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم also mentioned it in the hadith Long hadith. The hadith that Imam Muslim narrated in his Sahih from hadith Abdullah ibn Amr ibn As. That Abdullah ibn Amr ibn As and he said, "Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam." The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said, "Yakhrudu al-Dajjal fi ummati fi yamkuthu arba'ina." Dajjal will come out in this ummah for forty. The narrator mentions, "La adil arba'ina yawman, or arba'ina shahran, or arba'ina aman." I don't know if it's forty days, forty months, forty years. Allah alam. فيبعث الله عيسى بن مريم الله سنت عود عيسى بن مريم كأنه عروة بن مسعود it's like he looks يعني he similar his appearance عيسى بن مريم looks like عروة بن مسعود فيطلبه فيهلكه عيسى will go after him and he will destroy him ثم يمكث الناس سبع سنين the people will remain for seven years ليس بين اثنين عداوة two people have no animosity to one another no two people have animosity towards one another. 
ثم يرسل الله ريحا باردة الله sent out a cold wind من قبل الشام it will come from the direction of Sham فلا يبقى على وجه الأرض that day no one will remain on this earth أحد في قلبه مثقال ذرة من خير أو إيمان إلا قبضته إلا قبضته حتى لو أن أحدكم دخل في كبد جبل لا دخلته عليه حتى يقبض. The Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم هي he says Allah will send a cold wind from the direction of Sham. There is not an individual on the face of this earth where in his heart is في قلبه مثقال ذرة من خير أو إيمان a spark of good a mustard seed of righteous deeds is in his heart or faith إلا قبضته except that wind will take him will take his life the hadith mentions even if a person tries to run away from it and go to the يعني to the side of a يعني uh, in the to the side of a, a mountain and hide in there the wind would go into that cave with him and take his life. Then the Prophet وسلم, he said, النَّاسِ فِي خِفَّةِ الطَّيْرِ وَأَحْلَامِ السِّبَاعِ The evil people will remain. The only wicked people will survive and they will be a careless as birds with the characteristics of beasts, the narration mentions. Okay? The narration mentions لا يعرفون معروفا ولا ينكرون منكرا these people will not recognize the good. They won't be inclined to the good. They will never reject the evil. الشيطان الشيطان will come to them. He will come to them in the form of a human. He will say to them, Will you not obey what I have to say? They say to him, What are you commanding us? He will command them, to worship idols Why whilst they are dwelling in bliss and blessings and Allah has given them a lot of good they've got good provision and Allah is taking care of them but they start worshipping idols the narration mentions mentions ويصعق الناس ثم يرسل الله أو قال ينزل الله مطرا كأنه الطل أو الظل نعمان الشاك فتنبت منه أجساد الناس ثم ينفخ فيه أخرى فإذا هم قيام ينظرون ثم يقال يا أيها الناس هلم إلى ربكم وقفوهم, إنك وقفوهم إنهم مسؤولون قال ثم يقال أخرجوا بعث النار فيقال منكم فيقال من كل ألف تسعمائة وتسعة وتسعين قال فذلك يوم يجعل الولدان شيبا وذلك يوم يكشف عن ساق The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم here he says the shaytan will come to these people and he will say to them do you not respond and they would say what do you order us and he would command them to worship the idols but in spite of this they would have abundance of sustenance and they would have a, a lead, a life full of comfort. Then the trumpet would be blown and no one would hear that, but he would bend his neck to one side and raise from the other side. And the first to hear the trumpet would be the person, uh, would be the person who would be busy in setting right the tank meant for providing water to the camels. He would swoon and the other people would also swoon. Then Allah would send or he would cause to send rain which would be like dew. And they would grow out of, out of it the bodies of the people. And then the second trumpet would also be blown and they would stand up and begin to look around. Then it would be said to them, O oh people, go to your Lord and make them and make them stand there and they would be questioned. Then it would be said, bring out a group out of them. Yeah, and you take this group of people and bring them out of the hellfire. And they would be asked how much it will be said, 999 out of the thousand 
for the people, I mean, for the hellfire. Yani 999 out of 1,000 for the hellfire. And that will be the day which would make the children old because of terror. And that would be the day about which has been said regarding it. On that day is the day when the shank will be uncovered. Yawma yukshafu ansaq. So this hadith shows us what the ayah or the ayat have shown, with the, which is the trumpet will be blown twice. The first time the people will pass away and they will die. And the second one is the people will be resurrected again. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, فَفَزِعَ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ أَيْ خَافُوا وَانْزَعَجُوا They become scared and worried. And Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, he says, إِلَّا مَنْ شَاءَ اللَّهِ Except the one Allah wills. The إِلَّا here is called أَدَاتُ istithna. And the min here is a mawsula. أَيْ إِلَّا الَّذِي شَاءَ اللَّهُ Except the one who Allah wills, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah honors him and grounds him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. That person will not be terrorized that day. Our Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he formed us in a hadith that أَنَّ أَوَّلَ مَنْ يَفِيقُ The first person to regain consciousness is going to be him. That's what the Prophet said. But he said, فَيَجِدُ مُوسَى عَلَيْهِ السلام. But the Prophet said, I'm going to find Musa. آخِذٌ بِقَائِمَةٍ مِنْ قَوَامِ الْعَرْشِ I will find Musa alayhi salam, كَلِيمُ الله, Holding on to this, يعني, the pillar of the throne of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. The Prophet then says, فَلَا أَدِّرِي I don't know. Was he exempted because of what happened to him in the mountain of Turu Sayna? When Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, he asked Allah, قَالَ رَبِّ أَرِنِي أَنظُرُ إِلَيْكَ قَالَ لَنْ تَرَانِي وَلَكِنْ يُنظُرُ إِلَى الْجَبَلِ فَإِنِ اسْتَقَرَّ مَكَانَهُ فَسَوْفَ تَرَانِي فَلَمَّا تَجَلَّى رَبُّهُ لِلْجَبَلِ جَعَلَهُ دَكَّةً وَخَرَّ مُوسَى صَعِقًا يعني موسى he fainted when he tried to look at the mountain when he asked if he can see Allah so I don't know if he's exempted the Prophet saying or he am أَفَاقَ قَلْبِ أَوْ قَبْلِ or he, he regained consciousness before me I don't know which of the two he is I don't know which one. وَكُلٌّ After that Allah says, وَكُلٌّ أَتَوْهُ دَاخِرِينَ Hamza and Khalaf and Hanfs, they read it as a fatha on the ta and a qasr on the Hamza. أَتَوْهُ And the remaining, they recited it as a mad on the Hamza and a mad on the Hamza and a dhamma on the ta which is أَتُوهُ that's how they recited it. And the meaning of the two qira'a are one. وَكُلُّ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ جَاءُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ تَعَالَى يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ Every single thing, every single one on this earth will come to Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. And they will come to him what? داخرين. And the word داخرين is a hal grammatically here. It means... صاغرين ذليلين منقادين مطيعين لا يتخلف منهم أحد يعني لا يتخلف منهم أحد عن أمره every single person will come to Allah يوم القيامة humiliated low weak ها. that's what Allah تبارك وتعالى he mentions سبحانه وتعالى إن كل من في السماوات والأرض إلا آت الرحمن عبدا لقد أحصاهم وعدهم عدا وكلهم آتيه يوم القيامة فردا Everyone's going to come to Allah by himself. يوم يدعوكم فتستجيبون بحمده You're going to all come. Oh yes, everyone's going to come. Allah says in another place. يوم يخرجون من الأجدات سراعا كأنهم إلى نصب يوفضون خاشعة أبصارهم ترهقهم ذلة ذلك اليوم الذي كانوا يوعدون In another place Allah تبارك وتعالى He says in سورة القمر He says فتولى عنهم يوم يدعو الداعي إلى شيء نكر خش عن أبصارهم يخرجون من الأجدات كأنهم جراد منتشر 
مهطعين مهطعين إلى الداع يقول الكافرون هذا يوم عسر I'm going to stop there inshallah ta'ala anything which I have said that was wrong or incorrect is from me and shaytan and Allah and his messenger are both free from it subhanakallahum wa bihamdi ashhadu an la ilaha illallah astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayh Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu how can you do a two second action right now that will give you a share of the reward of everything we're doing on this YouTube channel simple like this video and click subscribe why it will allow YouTube to recommend our videos to other users and imagine the huge amount of reward that could be waiting for you on the day of judgment if you did that with a sincere intention of spreading the deen of Allah. You'll be rewarded for every single person who benefits from one of our videos as a result of your like or subscribe. That's an easy two second action that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Do it now, click like and subscribe and don't forget to make that intention.